All right, folks, I'm going to go. I'm going to put this vehicle speed sensor race. So that's the kind of problems I was having for my um, symptoms I was having. So that's what I'm going to use. I picked this up at oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. And uh, it's about a hundred bucks, but I'm gonna take it off with this one inch deep well socket. Fit right on here. So that's what I used. So let me show you that. Here it is. Uh, it's actually on the driver's side of the vehicle I'm laying through the passenger side and coming out and got my head sticking out by the driver's side door so <clears throat> get the best camera angle here Very first thing is I'm gonna pull the There it is. No. Yeah. Alright, let's pull the clip off. I do it one handed. So, got the clip off. So, I'm going to get my adjustable wrench. Apologize for the camera work. I'm doing this at night, too. So, anyway, that's it. Let me uh, break that loose. Alright, folks. I had to regroup. I got me a socket. It's actually a one-inch socket. Put it on here. So that. So that's a lot better than that crescent wrench. Scrap that. All right. So let's get this off. Step back on.
All right, folks, let's get out there and try that out. All right, folks, here's what that sensor looks like out of the vehicle. All right, let's go fire this baby up and see what happens. So far, so good. Ooh, that was a good sign. No ABS light on. And it's shifting out good. It's not like it's hung in second gear. Praise God. All right, folks. So I tried the ignition starter switch. That didn't help. That was about 180 bucks for that one. And you know what? I'm not going to take it out. I'm just going to leave it in. That was a little bit of work. And at least I know that's good. The old truck's worth it. Uh, I wish I would have known about this VSS first is that was only about a hundred bucks but you know when I the weird thing about that when the ignition starter switch I put in that it it ran like this for a few days before it started uh, it started doing it again before it started the uh, spin operator went down it like it was hung in second gear which is weird it'd been nice if it would just started doing it autom already automatically but uh, I think it took about three days for it to start doing what it's doing so I'm not completely sold that that this will fix this problem uh, but it immediately fixed it at this point so so anyway, I hope this helped you. I definitely would have tried this first. <laughs> it was the cheaper of the fix, so. I'm gonna drive it and hope for the best. Hope this fixed it. That was a, a lot a lot simpler than taking all that off the, off the dash and changing that ignition starter switch, so. Lord willing, this helped it, so at least I know it's got an ignition starter switch on it fresh, and now the VSS vehicle speed sensor so I'm just I'm just thankful that it ain't my transmission uh, more than anything uh, so praise God that it's that was all it was so hopefully this fixes it and it's running like the old Chevy used to run got good cold air 100 100 uh, what is it 100 63,000 miles on it still got a lot of life left a lot of life left in her so she's worth it 5.7 350 four wheel drive I just love the truck so anyway you know what I'm talking about if you got one so anyway hope this helped you watch my other videos as always thank you and God bless